Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. This message is for Aries. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. So have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone you are thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for August and the energies of August, but I ask that these readings be timeless, so whenever it is meant to reach you, it has something you need to hear. So let's get started. What is happening for Aries in August? Ooh, Empress on the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Could be dealing with Taurus, Libra. What is going on? Aries, what is the heart of the matter? And that one just jumped right out. Okay. What are some things happening in daily life? Could be affecting the connection. Whoa, <laughs> these cards are just wanting to fly out. What's going on in the heart space? How are you feeling about your person? What intentions might you have towards the connection? What is a potential outcome? Oh, for the near future. One more card, one more card, Spirit. Okay, Let's see what's going on for your person. What is the heart of the matter for Aries person? What are they thinking about the connection right now? What are they thinking about the connection? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this connection? What's going on in their heart space? How are they feeling about their Aries? What intentions do they have? Wow. And what is a potential outcome? Whoa, oh my goodness, that one just flew. Potential outcome for August. Okay. We've got two cards each for the heart space. So that's very interesting. Part of the matter, Aries, we've got the Four of Cups. I feel like there's someone who is on your mind that you may have feelings for them, you may know they have feelings for you, but you might just be kind of unsure. You might be waiting, wondering, maybe wanting to call, maybe hoping for a call, missing this person, and yet there's something you're not necessarily seeing about this person and their feelings for you. It's like there's an unknown here and um, and you're you're a little guarded. I just have to say your person has the queen of wands. That's that is Aries energy. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces over here for you. Um, just energies. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But when I saw this, I thought Aries is on this person's mind. Aries is at the forefront of their thoughts. They find you very attractive, very magnetic. They're extremely interested. They like you a lot. We've got a little bit of quiet energy though. And um, so I'm not sure how they're communicating this just yet. If you hear, there's a lot of thunder right now. So I love thunder. It's really cool. Um, in your daily life, we have the Ace of Swords. Things could be really going well for you. You could be starting some, I don't know, I just got the word adventure, but new adventures, new opportunities, new way of thinking. You could be beginning something that has a lot of um, capacity for a lot of success. And there's a new beginning. There has been some sort of change, some sort of shift. And, um, and the word of the day has been for me, <laughs> came up when I was talking with a friend, but um, energetic reset. We've got two aces here. One is the ace of swords. It's a new way of thinking. It's a new beginning. Something has been released and something is starting anew. 
Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy could be significant. Your person has the devil here for their daily life energy. It's, I mean, when I first saw it, especially with the cards around it, because there's a lot of really positive energy around it, I kind of saw a little bit of obsession. Like someone might be obsessing about Aries. Someone might be thinking about Aries a lot. But we've got a high priestess hanging out over here, which is some quiet energy. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn there, but there could very well be somebody who is much more fixated on you, much more interested in you than you realize. Spirit, give us a clarifier for this devil energy. What is going on here? What is going on here in this person's daily life? What is going on here? Why do they have the devil for what is happening in their daily life? The Empress, Divine Feminine Energy, Taurus Energy, Libra Energy. I saw this at the bottom of the deck. They are, I mean, what I'm getting, the devil clarified by the Empress card. They're very fixated, very determined, very sure because they feel like you are the one the empress is the energy empress emperor when it comes to a relationship is the energy of that one person male female does not matter these are body um, energies that we embody but there is there is a potential here and um, this person is is really fixated on you aries because they feel like you are the the one I don't think you know about this. In your heart here, you've got the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. You're having a lot of feelings, but you're struggling to talk about it. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here, but with the Eight of Swords, this is when we're kind of going around in circles. When we think we're stuck and we think we're in a situation that we can't move forward, we can't do anything, but the, the stuck energy is only in our mind. These are thoughts, swords are thoughts, it's fears. Your heart is wide open to this connection, Aries, but for some reason, your mind is afraid. It's almost like afraid to look at it. Um, almost like you know this love is present, but but there's a part of you that that is a little nervous about reaching out. And yet, I feel like there's a part of you that knows that this love is for real. Very interesting that I'm seeing this cup to me, very oddly, looks a little like an owl, which they tend to represent wisdom, or things that are in the night, things are in the shadow. There's something you know, Aries. Um, but I feel like there's a part of you that's kind of afraid to say it. Let's see if we can get some advice for this. Why do we have this Eight of Swords? Why do you feel like you can't talk about this, Aries? Why do, why do we have this Eight of Swords here in your heart space? The star definitely could be an energy of wishing for something, hoping for something, could be, have just recently recovered from some sort of a challenge, difficulty, breakup, that sort of thing, could just be in the process of finding yourself after a challenging time and it could be making you feel vulnerable a little nervous about reaching out and um and there's a healing energy this is aquarius energy so this is a very unique vibe of you knowing who you are knowing what it is that you desire and yet kind of up in your head here about how to express this love you are very clearly feeling your person in their heart space has the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Could be dealing with a Taurus once again. Um, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It's all showing up here. And an Ace of Cups. So there are three Aces in this reading. Talk about a reset. Talk about a fresh start, a new beginning. This person is embodying this kind of king of pentacles energy. doesn't mean that they're an earth sign, but it is somebody who is very thoughtful, someone who is very caring, someone who, who shows up. Um, and I'm seeing a knight around this, this king. There's, there's a moon here. There's mystery. There's a little bit of secrecy. 
about these feelings, but they're absolutely present. This Ace of Cups in the heart of the in the heart space for your person feels like the same Ace of Cups that you're holding in your hand. I feel like there is going to be an opening up. There is going to be a communication. It almost feels like a heart chakra activation between the two of you. And it's going to free you. Like this, this very, I mean, it's a very caring, stable kind of person that is falling. And yes, they're a little confused about it. I'm seeing a lot of moon energy here. I don't feel like they're necessarily opening up, which has got you feeling a little up in your head um but i feel like you're going to you're going to break out of that energy i feel like the two of you are going to open up and talk about this and um could definitely be your person wanting to tell you how they feel because for the intentions here for you aries we have the nine of wands sagittarius energy um also aries leo because of wands but for me as a reader sagittarius this is the Wounded Warrior card. This is the energy of someone who has been through a lot, but this, this card is very different. This is a very fiery, magical, kind of feminine, passionate energy that yes, we've been through some challenges. Yes, we've had our share of disappointments, but there's something about this love. I don't know, I just got that it makes you feel like you could walk on water. Like you could, there something miraculous could happen here. There's something different. There's something new with this connection. And there's something you're aware of that I feel like is giving you the strength to turn that wand that is kind of like a wand of guarding yourself, protecting yourself, turning it into like a magic wand and really making something happen, Aries. Your person and their intentions has the lover's. Gemini energy could be significant, but this person is Aries on the mind, kind of obsessing here because they're feeling like you are the one, like the one falling for you. Again, or for the first time, it's going to be different for each connection. And once again, feeling like this is it. This is the person. It's almost as if they have like an over overwhelming realization that it's always like that it's always been been you before they met you once they knew you even if the two of you are apart it's always like it's always been you and your potential outcome we have an ace of coins a judgment card and a ten of wands it's very interesting that this is kind of a moment of truth. The judgment card, it's major arcana. It's a moment of truth. It's putting the past in the past. It's a new day. It's opening up to one another. We have this beautiful ace of pentacles, which can be an offer. It can be a romantic offer. It can be an engagement. It can be asking to get together. But we see it coming up as you are wrapping up a cycle. It's like a decision, an opportunity, a new beginning as you wrap up a burdensome cycle of some sort. Or Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy could be significant here. But let's find out about this Ten of Wands. What is this cycle here? Wow, we've got the chariot. Um, King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the King of Wands and Queen of Wands. Now, doesn't have to mean a sign, doesn't have to mean a gender. It's the energy of a match. Someone who honestly can keep up with the energy and passion of the Aries. Someone who is really determined, really charismatic, really sure about you. I feel like somebody could have been kind of serious, kind of quiet, um, taking their time, but there's a lot, there's a lot of interest. And clarifying this Ten of Wands is the chariot. Cancer energy could be significant. It's a major arcana and it has more to do with healing. You're wrapping up a cycle of healing. It's almost as if you're wrapping up a cycle of waiting and and you're ready to move forward. We've got the star and the chariot here, which are both very strong healing energies. There's something that is changing with you. There's something that is shifting with you, Aries, and it's opening up a very positive new beginning in love. Your person... We have the Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the High Priestess. 
When I first saw this page, I couldn't tell if it was in reverse or upright, just the way it landed on the floor. So I went ahead and picked it up. It did turn upright, but when it's sitting here by this high priestess, it almost makes me think that there is this love, this new beginning in love, this communication that this person has been quiet about. And now the universe is stepping in to take a hand, to move this forward, to make this happen. The thing about the Wheel of Fortune, there's no people in this card spinning this wheel. This is when the universe comes in and moves things forward, expands. I feel like there's someone that is having a lot of feelings towards you that they might be very quiet about right now. They could almost be being casual about it, kind of playing it cool, maybe maybe even acting like a friend, um, not letting on how much they're feeling, but under the surface, I mean, we've got the Empress and the Lover's card. They feel like you are the one. And there's just no denying that for this person. So, why are they being so quiet about it? Let's get the, let's find out. What's up with this high priestess? What is up with this high priestess? What is up? Why are they being quiet about their feelings? Why are they being quiet? 10 of Pentacles. They're definitely wanting it all with you, Aries. They're wanting a lasting connection. They're wanting something that um, that can really stand the test of time. And for some reason, they've been nervous to tell you that they feel like you are absolutely the one. So why do you have this nine of wands? Why do we have this nine of wands here? Why do we have this nine of wands? Why do we have this nine of wands? Wow. Oh my goodness. So many cards on the bottom of the deck that are showing up here. I feel like, first of all, we have hanged man energy showing up. Pisces energy could be significant, but I feel like you might be waiting a little bit. Might have been kind of being patient about things, working on getting a new perspective about things, maybe a little guarded because you've had your share, areas of disappointments, and you've had your share of challenges. And even though you really know there's something here, there's a part of you that I feel like has been waiting, maybe waiting for a sign, maybe waiting for a phone call, maybe waiting to be sure that this is really something. Um, but there has been that energy. But here we have a queen of coins on the bottom of the deck, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And we have, once again, we have a queen of pentacles and a king of pentacles. There is something about this match that is very, it's very sure. There's a lot of passion, but there's also something that is lasting. There is a staying power to this connection. There is something about it, even if it is new or even if it is being reignited for the first time in a while, there's something about it that is lasting. We've got a strength card. So Lionsgate portal, Leo season, new moon and Leo could all be very significant. Lionsgate portals, 8-8. Um, you could be taking your time because you wanna find your balance. So taking your time with the hanged man, finding your balance with that queen of coins and your strength here with this um, strength card. You could even be kind of holding back a little bit. You could be having a lot you feel, a lot you wanna say, but you could be holding back for the right moment. But once again, we have the wheel of fortune now, Aries working on your side. So now we have it coming up in both places. So on your person's side and your side, it's almost like they're being a little quiet. You're being maybe waiting a little and the universe comes in and spins this wheel and begins to make, to make it happen. And the final two cards on the bottom of the deck, well, there's one more, I have to say. Um, I 
We have a page of wands there in the bottom of the deck, which is a new beginning in communication. I was just looking, there's so many cards on the bottom of the deck. If this was a personal reading, I just dive into the full story, but I wanted to keep this, this closer to 20 minutes, but, um, but on the bottom of the deck, we do have the queen of wands and the king of wands. This is a balanced, balanced match. This is two people that are genuinely interested in one another. They're genuinely interested, attracted. Two people like this can't hold back for long from talking about the this interest. And honestly, just I just feel like if you are going to see this person or planning to see this person or they're wanting to see you, I feel like it's gonna be smart sparks like immediately. Like if you the two of you come into the same room, like if you're long distance or something, like I just feel like the two of you are gonna lock eyes and forget about the whole world. Like that is what I'm seeing here with this Queen of Wands and King of Wands. So I'll go ahead and show you those last cards that I saw. This is just too, just too good to hold back. <laughs> we have this page of wands coming in with a communication. There's a six of pentacles. This is a balanced communication. This is someone that feels the way about um, you that you feel about them. We have a nine of swords sitting right next to a four of wands. So this person is having some nerves, some anxiety about their feelings, about their past feelings, their present feelings, their future feelings, how intense the feelings are and really what to do about it but I do see them overcoming because we have the king of coins showing up once again and this is someone that coins are all about getting together in for me it's like in the in a in the physical world like seeing each other this is not just dreaming about each other or just talking to one another you know it's actually it's actually finding a way to be together, to see one another. That's just what's coming through. Like this person is very much wanting to see you, to be around you, to see what's there. And then the final card that I have on the bottom of the deck is the Emperor card. So Emperor, Empress, Lovers. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer here. That is... That is a powerful connection. This is two people that will find each other over and over again through many lives, that will love each other and that will never let go. And I feel like you've been through your challenges and your person has too, but ultimately I feel like this is two people that, that are going to be together and I feel like you're nervous and they're nervous, but the universe is gonna come in and spin this wheel. And make this happen in a completely new way, a completely powerful, positive way. Might be a little unexpected with all this wheel of fortune energy. Might take you by surprise, but We've got all aces here. Ace of swords, ace of coins, ace of cups. It's a new beginning that um, that is kind of changing everything. And with the judgment card here, the angels are coming in and taking hand in this. The past is in the past. A new day is dawning. This is a new beginning for these two. So that is what I have for you. I want to thank you all so much, and I'll talk to you soon.